Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so they want to know here what the domain of this function is. And domain refers to your inputs or x values here. So we're essentially asking uh, what values can this function exist at on the x axis. And I drew that line there because I noticed that the, the lowest x value is here. And I guess we can assume that this is um, by 1, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. The lowest x value is 4, and then it seems to go on forever in the positive direction, which is what choice 4 says. x is anything, x is any number, which says x such that. That variable line means such that. x is anything greater than or equal to negative 4. Now, what about the range? Just for fun, let's look at the range. That would be y such that y is greater than or equal to what? Well, the, the range refers to the heights of the graph. Now, this point right here has a height of 0. It's the point negative 4, comma, 0. That's the lowest height I see on these points. And again, this goes up, it goes up you know, gradually here, but it's going to keep going up forever, up and up and up and up and up. So why the height could be anything greater than or equal to 0. And notice they put those choices there to confuse you as well. But that's what refers to what's called the range, which refers to f of x, or the y values. And the domain refers to your inputs, or your x values. All right, hope this helped.